that when bugs get in your ear. My friend was telling me a, a story when his uncle was like a, a pediatric or whatever. He was a doctor for kids, and this this little girl that he examined had like a cockroach in her ear, and he was asking her how how he knew how she knew it was dead, and she said because it stopped digging, and yeah, it was kind of weird. Anyways, that's why I don't like bugs. <laughs> Coffee mugs, okay. Uh, there's something in there they don't want me to see. Uh, whatever though. Is this supposed to be a camera? It makes a noise when I... Can I put something on it? Is that what that is? Like if I find a record or something, can I put it on it? Whisk. Give me that. I don't need that key card. <laughs> I'm more than likely I won't need it. There's another one. Oh, I'll just leave that up for a second. If, uh, is there a radio? No. I wish there was a radio in here that I could turn it on. That would be so quiet all the time. I only carry one item at a time. Okay. What's in there? Wait, was I in there already? I feel like I was. Uh, I didn't really mess around with everything in the environment when I first played this. Hmm. Wait, I forgot I can hold down L1 and identify things. What is that? A projector? So it can I can, like, maybe put a record on there, projection thingy, and then, like, play it. Have a fun little movie. Wait, I don't want that. Why, why would I want that? Let's put it down. Deep pot. Bourbon. Yep, bring that. Okay, on my way. Uh, oh, there's a door over here. I didn't see. Or I saw it, but I didn't comprehend. I need a key card. <laughs> Forgot. Uh, I'll just take this fancy looking one in this drawer right here. I need to borrow you for a second. Oh, that was just, it was shadowed. That's why it looked different. Open the door. Go through. Open the door. Those different kinds of bushes, those 2D bushes. Eh, whatever. I mean, this is the same engine that created Borderlands, so I'm not really surprised. But then again, Borderlands was a great game. So, I can't judge it. What's that? A bell? Or a bell? A bell book? Wait, is it a dot bell? Oh, yeah. Flashlights, I don't think I ever need that. Clipboard. Wait a minute. I wonder if I can see through that thingy with the flashlight. Get a hole puncher, need 12 ballpoint pens, A4 paper, use stationery. Okay. Oh, hey, this was that room that I was looking into. Remember to meet in the gallery at 1 o'clock in the morning. Holy crap, that's early. A new projection is due to start, and it is going to be incredibly interesting. You know that accident that occurred a few weeks ago? Well, it's that same patient. Meet me in the locker room at midnight if you want to join us, Robert. Alright then. Why do I, why do I want to put we think weapons? After a terrible incident during R157's treatment, patient J2057, it has occurred to me that we must fashion a mental safety mechanic that will instantly secure the consciousness of, restore of a restorer. Speaking with Dr. Collins, we were able to define a way to contain some of the restorer's subconscious mind after the initial projection, creating a defined and contained space within the restorer's own mind, something we now refer to as the case. If we are to think of this in physical terms, I would say the metaphor of a safe would suit quite well. A space to hold the raw essence of the restorer's mind, so if the worst happens, we have an origin point to work back from. I never read that. Yeah, I don't really feel like reading another one. What was that? Procedures don't, uh, how should I put it, go to plan. But really, there's nothing to see here anyway. There was something in there. Shouldn't you be heading to restoration chamber number three to meet me? 
I never saw that the first time through. There was something in there. I'm going to have to slow that down if I can without slowing down the entire video and look at it. Ah, key card. Where is it? There's something shady's going on. I didn't even realize. I thought it was just an empty room with some boxes in it. Ah, whatever. Ah, but there is something shady going on here. Not really a fan. Restoration Chamber Three. I can I can never tell if this is like a horror game or something. I I I, I never really know. Restoration Chambers One through Two. Well, I bet that's what the flashlight was for. Restoration Chamber 3. What's this one? I don't think I went in here this first time. Restructing memory. Chess. Somebody's been here. New restoration chambers with state-of-the-art projection chairs were installed last week. It's important to note that there are new procedures that will come to come with this technology and it is important that each and every one of you comply with these rules. We do not want another staff fatality at this institution. That's nice. Bad projection or uh, severe hemorrhaging in the brain has resulted in a minor stroke impacting our patient's uh, motor abilities. You know, we do tell them not to leave the pre-designated path to stick to the memory routes laid out for them. But do they listen? Of course they bloody well don't. And unfortunately, recovery isn't always an option once you experience the deep recesses of another consciousness. Right then. Oh, flashy. Info. That's a... Um, how do I put that? That's a um, very large chair thing. <laughs> 